guys, welcome to my new video. In this one, we are going to unbox Creality Ender 3 version number 2, as you can see right in here. This is a pretty cool 3D printer, and I really like it. And we are going to see inside this box and what are the pieces and parts in there. Next video is going to be the assembly steps of all these parts in for Creality Ender 3 version number 2. And then the upcoming two videos are going to be Jura settings and the review of the entire printer so don't forget to subscribe to my channel before we start and let's open the box okay first things that i notice in here the ultra base so basically created and that tree has an ultra base surface assembled on it so we have the 3d printer user manual don't forget to read that here we have the aluminum profile bars. Now we have the screen. So this is what I like the most about the Creality Ender 3 version 2. It's the big white touch screen and it's colorful. So we will see how it works as well. And the back of the screen is, has this adjustable piece as well. Next in the box is this uh, piece where the extruder and x-axis motor are located. And as you can see, this is the connection. I don't think there's going to be a filament detection sensor. Hmm, that's going to be really interesting. I wish there was an filament extruder detection sensor, but I don't see any equipment to do that on this piece. In general, it's on this piece, but we will see. So the next piece comes out around is the extruder itself. They claim that this is a really silent extruder that we are about to see when i do the next video basically when we assemble and start running everything i will give the voice of the i will especially put more attention to the noise of this extruder and the motors and everything so they say they have the silent drivers and it should be that and yeah it looks cool like compared to the other extruders this feels like a more like one solid block okay while we're holding this I'm going to pull the base of the printer. We have the filament holder unit right in here. When I remove this under it, there is more. Here we have the Z-axis motor, more aluminum profiles. These are the Z-axis bars. My box came with the Europe plug, but it doesn't matter. We can just like swap it. Here we have the package for the tools, Allen wrenches and zip ties. And here we have the bolts and nuts and the other stuff, the belts that will help us to put this printer all together. And there's a little bit extra of the filament. And I can see the Z-axis sensor too. Here we have the tensioner for the X-axis and the passive section of the Z-axis going up and down. Yep, that's it. There's one screw came out here but i don't know what it is yeah that's it these are the all the things that we have inside the box okay right now i have all the parts that come out of the box on the table we are going to assemble them in the next video you will see step by step in details so don't forget to subscribe but right now i would like to focus on a little bit more to the base plate over here because it has a little bit more stuff than the other printers that i have so it really looks cool and there's a storage box in there too which I really like. So let's take a look at that storage box for a minute. Okay, there it is. So this is the storage box. Really cool, huh? I think the Creality is definitely listening to the need of the customers because I see lots of people modifying Creality and their tree uh, underneath of it especially to place a box holder in there and belt tensioners, all those kind of stuff. So what we are seeing in this version too, is I think more depends on the, what customers did after they are purchasing Creality and their tree and start using it. So we see some of the inputs from the customers, which is really great actually. So the other thing that I just realized that this big knobs, I really like them, especially they help big Especially they are really helpful when you're leveling the printer. So this is really cool to have. 
So the other thing that I noticed in here is this cover of the Y-axis motor. So this is first time I'm seeing a cover in a printer, this section, so which is also good. And in here we see the voltage level identifier and you need to arrange that accordingly. And uh, here we can see the power button and all the circuitry you can see is like covered. So nothing is out there, which is other really cool stuff. Let's look under it. Under it, um, I can see two fans over here. This one, I think to cool down the electronic circuits in here. This one goes to the power supply. This one goes to the power supply. And this is the box region. And there's a cable coming out of the here, this section, and the other cables are coming from this section. Okay, I need to do this for the last part of the video. Perfect. So right now we have all the parts that are inside the box on the table and in the next video I'm going to assemble this 3D printer step by step and show you guys how to do that. So to not miss that video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell button so that you can get the notifications and together we will 3D print awesome stuff with Creative Ender 3 version number 2 and hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.